we started this conversation because there was a story about uh, some research that was being done. It was a study to see if people were willing to let robots help them work on their mental health. Ah. And people are willing to let robots help. They just don't want them to look like real people. We talked about that. Like the more yeah. human that they like, these humanoid like coaches, mm-hmm. robot things, like they didn't want that. You know, um, is if it looked more cute, like, like kind of right. lost in space robot looking, they, yeah. like, they're fine with the the uh, artificial intelligence stuff or whatever. Mm. But you got to think, how many people are just looking up stuff online? True. You know, Everyone. whether it's a, a physical ailment or uh-huh. something about their mental health or. This robot thing is a scene right out of uh, last week's Mandalorian episode. Yeah. They had robots doing check-ins with people. Oh, okay. Do you have... Would that make you feel better? Yeah. Do you have... <laughs> I don't. I forget how they phrased it, like ugly feelings towards your coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> and the person would just sit across and say, no. And it could tell if you were lying? Now that'd be cool. It was not plugged into anything. The oh. robot was just taking their word for it. Uh, <laughs> really? Like, it'd be cool if it could tell if you were lying. You know, and that way. Yeah, that's what I thought. It doesn't have anything. They weren't hooked up to anything. Yeah, but would that make you feel better? That's like an empty apology. And there are so many people. Right, exactly. There are so many people that demand, like, no, you're going to say you're sorry. Well, if you force that on somebody, does that honestly make you feel better? No. I thought that was kind of silly. Like, I'm not going to force anybody to apologize because if it is authentic, then fine. Then then (laughs) fine. Exactly. But if you know it's just forced. Some people won't let you leave the room. Are you okay? Are you feeling okay? Do you you really feel hurt or better if the robot (laughs) asks you if you're fine? That's what I'm saying. It's super weird. Eventually, that's what the Amazon Echo is going to be. Your Your therapist? Yeah. Oh, totally. What was There was a movie that came out. Her? Was it Her? When he fell in love with it? Yeah, this guy yeah. had like this relationship with this. I think it was her. Thing. Yeah. It was like yeah. a voice. Was it a voice assistant or was it a robot? Yeah, it was basically uh, it was Amazon basically, Echo. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And he talked to it every night. God, mm. I remember seeing the video for that. I'm like, what is going on? It's a weird. It's so super strange. Weird. He was so in love with it. Yeah. And I then she it. broke up with him. Oh, that uh, was sad. A new study has found that when it comes to advice, people are 50 percent more likely to listen to friends and family over advice from experts. And we talked about this a little bit too, like people who are relationship experts yeah. can't ever make a relationship work. They're almost always divorced. Yeah, there's a lot of people who you know they're experts in a certain field, but they don't, they can't do it themselves. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, they can't make it work themselves. That world famous book, "Men Are from Mars, Women Are from mm-hmm. Venus." That dude is divorced. Yeah. Well, like, um, what's the uh, the saying? Those who can't do teach. Yeah. Right. True. Same kind yeah. of thing. Uh, but this is a concept called social proof. The excessive influence a person's social circle may have on their decisions, even if their opinions are limited and not really based on anything of substance. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So one in three people say they deliberately avoid seeking advice from experts in favor of going with the opinion of, you know, their homies, yeah. their family. I mean, I'll listen to friends and family, but unless they're in a position I want to be in, I usually don't take their advice. On that particular topic. Yeah. Like, you don't get money advice from poor people. No. You know? they don't. Or, what are they, they going to tell you? Or a career advice. From someone who's, you yeah. know, in some dead-end job. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you want to go with somebody who, like, you know, okay, from a career standpoint, I aspire to be more like this person, then fine. Yeah. Well, what I do, if instead of just getting expert advice, if I take my dog to the vet, I will ask the question, if this was your dog, right. what right. would you do? Mm-hmm. Whatever the most expensive thing right. is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would get I would, I would, surgery. Yeah. $5,000 yeah. worth yep. of blood work. <laughs> <laughs> That's would, what I would do. I would right. spare no expense, yeah. Mr. Right. Gorey. Yes. Yes. There would I, be no budget. I would in give fact, her a heart transplant. <laughs> in fact, I'd fill out this financing application yes. right here, right now. That's, That's what I would do. That's what I would do. Yep. I would yeah. give this her was my dog. <laughs> Every uh, organ considered- transplant. The extended warranty program. <laughs> <laughs> but she just came here for a nail clipping. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, but yeah, well, ooh, she probably uh, needs a new uh, liver. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the the advice that I got that I use a lot now um, is you got to ask yourself the question. No matter what it is, a decision or mm-hmm. you know how you feel about something or whatever. Like, what's the worst case scenario? And then mm-hmm. once you, and you got to be honest with yourself. That's the thing. Like all like, this requires you being honest, at least with yourself. If you're going to lie to everybody else, fine, but it's not going to work if you're lying to yourself. So you actually have to answer that yes. in your head. To you, what would be 
the worst case scenario. And then once you know what that is, then you got to also be honest and go uh, to the question, will, will I be okay? And if the answer is yes, don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. You Absolutely. Know? Like for a lot of people, like what's the worst case scenario? Oh, I lose my job. Are you going to be okay? Mm-hmm. Meaning like, are you going to be able to find another job? Mm-hmm. Like, again, that's yeah. a good question. What kind of worker are you? What's your track record? Uh-huh. You know, like uh, how are your savings? How are these other elements? What and if is, you, th- what are the options? if you think, you know, yeah, like it's going to suck. Of course. Yeah. Sure. But of course. will you be okay? Yeah. Right. Are you well, going gonna, to die? Yeah. And if the answer, then don't worry about it. People are like, oh, they, oh, oh my God. They're good. Take the opportunity now while you got your job to network and know other mm-hmm. people and, you know, set and yourself up. So and, just in case that happens, mm-hmm. it makes that worst case scenario a little less scary. Mm-hmm. I love that. that. that I, I use that for yeah. everything. Uh-huh. Everything. Uh, 877-44 Woody. That's 877-44 Woody. Uh, some of the stuff from Facebook over the weekend. Doesn't hurt to ask. That's true. Definitely. The worst they can say is no. Yep. Yeah. I have to tell my wife that all the time. Right. Well, I don't want to. I'm like, just ask. Just ask. They can. What are they going to say? No. And like, always remember that if you ask a question, the answer might be no. Right. Because people always expect the answer to be yes. Uh, Edwin says, "Don't complain about life kicking you down if you're doing absolutely nothing to improve where you're currently at." Ah. Uh-huh. It's also another good one, and I've caught myself doing that before. A lot of times I try to at least have like a, a suggestion. That's the frustrating part because mm. the other uh, piece of advice is, uh, you know, if you can't control it, don't worry about it. Right. So control what you can control. Mm-hmm. Realize what you do have control over and worry about that mm-hmm. stuff. Anything else outside of that, you don't have any control over. Yeah. So why are you mm-hmm. sitting there worrying about it? But that's, uh, I mean, that's part of it. You know, if you can control it, then do something about it. Right. Or if you're right. going to complain to your boss about something, at least have an idea of what, how to fix what something. Right. What, or, or how it could be how better. How it can be yeah. adjusted. Don't just say this sucks. Right. And then that's and it. blanket statement. Yeah, exactly. Like have an idea. Like, this place sucks. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, how do we improve it? Yeah, what's well, your right. idea? What well, sucks about it? I don't know. I don't have any ideas. I just yeah. know it sucks. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> isn't that kind of along the lines of what we say yeah. when people look at successful people and go, you're so lucky. Like oh, yeah, well, yeah. well then go make some luck. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you got to make luck, mm-hmm. right. which means uh, like networking. Like I was just saying, like, creating yes. that'll create an opportunity. The once you get the opportunity, then you got to create the success. You got to make sure that you seize that opportunity and make the best. Like, is there inherited you wealth and nepotism? Absolutely, but a lot of people yeah. made it happen. Yeah. Luck is winning the lottery, right? Yeah, for sure, <laughs> right? Or Ravi at a casino, oh, there right? You go. Or Ravi. <laughs> All right, Ravi, what's the uh, best piece of advice that you've gotten? You know, my dad was a dispenser of advice, and he was always All like dads are, you know? a mm-hmm. teacher growing up. Good job. You know, taught you how to jump a car battery, how to change a tire, how to fill out the simple tax form, mm-hmm. things like that. But the one thing he talked about and preached that really stuck was do not put anything on your credit card that you're not prepared to pay for. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. And so basically... He just hammered that into my head and kept me out of what he would call bad debt. Yeah. Uh, so, like, your house isn't a bad debt. Correct. Mm-hmm. Your, or your car. Yeah. I had to buy my own car. I didn't drive till I was 18. Uh, Demi says, I really like Greg's changing the way you think about things advice. I like get to go to work right. instead of I have to go to work. Right. I should be grateful I'm able to do things versus someone who cannot. Uh, I think about this tip all the time. Thanks, Greg. Oh, my pleasure. Nice. What is yours, Good. Greg? Mine is three simple words that I learned from my dad as well that I hated it when I learned it, but when you grow older, you appreciate it. Three words, life isn't fair. Mm. Yeah. And I learned that when I wanted to go spend the night at a friend's house, I was like seven, and he said, nope, ah. you can't. I said, why? Because life isn't fair. And the answer is no. That was it. Yeah. And that was it. That's and then a parent answer right there. Later on in life, you realize, oh, yes, some people will have more than you. Yep. Some people are better than you. Some people are just more talented than uh, you. Yeah. Life isn't fair. Uh, five four zero is the best advice. Zero point zero 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 one percent of people actually get paid a decent wage to do what they love. Find something that you are good at. Work hard to make enough money to do what you love on the weekends. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's good. good advice. Uh, this one tech guy I know who's like worth like a hundred million plus. He's just like you can't cry over missed opportunities. 
He's he's like I could probably be worth mm-hmm. like three times as what I am now. Yeah. But there was like opportunities that I missed that I didn't jump on. Yeah. But you can't dwell on them. Mm, yeah. Uh, my advice would be not to spend your money on useless things trying to impress people. People don't care about what you buy to impress them because they are too busy trying to impress you with the things that they buy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty True. good. Uh, Sammy, what's yours? Uh, the best piece of advice that I've heard is no is a full sentence. I'm a person who can get anxiety over like, oh, but if I say no, what if they're like, oh, well, what? You know, all these questions. It's just like no is a full sentence. You're allowed to say no, and that's the answer. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. That's interesting. I like, that. I like it. Uh, this one on the text over to 22987. If it's not going to matter in five years, don't spend more than five minutes being upset about it. I've heard that before. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. That's good. Is this going to matter in five years? No. Then why am I spending so much time on this? 